everybody, it's me, your boy Ten, aka Makeup and Music with Ten, and I'm back at it with another video, so, um, slight update because of, um, everything going on with, uh, um, COVID-19, or the Rona, as I like to call it, um, I got a babysitting job, and that babysitting job's like three days a week, could be four, depending on, you know, if the mother needs me um, for oh oh excuse me oh my god but um it is a very uh, me uh emotionally and, and physically draining job and with school um going to online very soon um, I'm just not going to upload or be able to put in the energy I need to right now um, uploading three times a week so that means I'm going to be uploading once to twice a week I'm gonna go and say once um, I'm gonna to try to make those videos a little bit you know each thing a little bit different um, but you know I'm gonna do the best that I can do um, but anyway this is a one brand tutorial um, I think I'm going to be shooting two videos back to back today so I'm going to be doing um, a femme couture one brand demo tutorial whatever you want to call it that's what I'm doing um, femme couture I don't have any femme couture foundation so I won't be wearing any foundation but I think I have I have a good amount of femme couture stuff um, I will have to pull from other things because I may not have like a blush or I don't have a blush I don't have a highlight from femme couture um, but I have lips, eyeshadow, um, mascara, setting spray, eyeliner, and lots of lip products. I have lots of lip products. So um, if, if it's not Femme Couture, it's because I don't have it as with all of these videos. So I'm honestly just, when I get to that spot, I'm just going to randomly pick from whatever um, a blush and a highlight that I need. Um, I also don't have any Femme Couture um, eye primer, so I'm just going to use my normal primer. I'm going to use, most likely, I think I'm just going to use, um, I'm just going to use this Real Colors Concealer as my eye base today. So let's just get to it. So the first product, I have three different um, uh, primers for Femme Couture, so I decided I'm going to use all of them for different things. So this is the Get Even Color Correcting Primer, right here. Oh, I need my, I'm gonna need that. Um, and I'm actually just gonna put this underneath my eyes to kind of color correct that darkness. It's like a really green color. I'm just gonna put a little bit under each eye. It's okay. Oh wait, I actually do have a highlight. I do have something I can use for highlight. So it's just a blush that I need. I'm just gonna put that underneath my eye. Color correct under there. And voila. Next, we're going to use the Get Poreless Femme Couture Get Poreless Pore Minimizer. Um, this is not my favorite, but because the smell, it smells very alcoholic and has a weird color but we're still going to use it to fill in my pores today so let's just focus it i'm gonna focus it right where i feel like my pores are the biggest um i personally don't think that pore filling primers really work but that's and i've used a couple and i just i don't really see that much of a difference but for the purposes of this video, we are going to fill those pores. Okay, so once again, I don't have a Femme Couture foundation. They don't have the best uh, foundation range, so I wouldn't even find anything um, from there. So let's just move on to eyes. So I'm just going to use this Real Colors. This is not Femme Couture. I'm just going to use this as my eye base. This is a concealer that I really like. And we're going to use this as the eye base. I'm just going to put it on with like so. And then, because 
because I've always wanted to use one of these little tiny um, setting um, sponges. I'm going to use this little baby sponge from, um, I believe this is from Luxy. Um, we got it in our boxy charm, so I'm just gonna go and put this wet this little. So we're gonna use this little Luxie um, uh, sponge. I'm just gonna use that to blend out my concealer. I think I'm going to try to use both. I have the Femme Couture Mod Metal Eyeshadow Palette. Ooh. Yeah. A, a Mod Metal Eyeshadow Palette. Um, this one is very, um, very dusty. But the colors are really pretty. Um, and the Get Jeweled. Femme Couture Get Jeweled Eyeshadow, Eyeshadow Palette. These have some really pretty colors in them. But they're all shimmers. I do not have any matte. Um, from Couture products, so I don't really know what I'm gonna do. Um, but let's just do, let's get to it. Let's just, let's just go ahead and jump right into this. Um, I'm just gonna use the Sweat and Wild brush, and I'm just gonna go into. I need like a base color, so I'm gonna go into this like. Uh, what is this color? It looks kind of goldy. It's like a goldy, like, um, goldy color. So I'm just gonna go into the goldy color and I'm just gonna use this as my base color. I wanted to set that, um, I cannot think today. I'm gonna kinda use it to set the uh, concealer. If I had it, I would use brown as a base color. This Femme Couture Mineral Effects Baked Eye Color in uh, Downtown Brown, a funny play on Downtown Julie Brown. This is also a shimmer, but it's a nice brown, so I'm actually going to go into this and kind of use this brown as my base color instead. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm pretty sure I'm going to do something really simple today. I don't know, but you never know. I think I might do a live drag video of me getting into drag, so I might do that, but don't quote me on it. So I'm just going really nice in there. This is baked, so I really have to hit it and hit it to get some uh, something going here. But this is a really pretty brown. I really actually like this brown color. It's not my most favorite product ever, but it, it does what I need it to do. So I guess that's why I keep it. It's not awful, but it's not my favorite baked eyeshadow I've ever used. So take from that what you will, friends. How's everybody doing? I am doing okay. I'm just... I'm just taking life day by day by day. That's all we can do during everything that's going on right now. All we can do is take it day by day by day. 
<laughs> that's really it, honestly. Because, you know, I'm trying not to stretch myself, like stress myself out to the wall and just kind of be like, hey, Tan, you know, you can't control what's going on. So, breathe, bitch. Breathe, bitch. That's honestly all we can do. Just breathe, bitch. Sometimes when I'm putting the shadow in my crease, it feels so good. Okay, so this is where we are now. I do, I do pretty much like this brown. Um, I do have to work a little bit hard, but once I can get product, it actually ends up looking really pretty. So I ain't mad about it. I'm just slightly wiping this off on my Huggies uh, natural care wipes that I like to use to remove makeup and the like. Alrighty then. Now we're gonna go back into the Mod Metal palette. Um, I'm gonna go into the purple. Of course, I went to the purple. I'm gonna go into this dark purple on the side here. And we're just gonna put that kind of on top of what I just did on the side here. I'm gonna focus the purple on the side. So. I'm kind of just gonna mix it in with that brown I'm gonna try depending on if these shadows will work together cuz <laughs> they don't work together oh wait no progress progress I just want to make sure y'all are seeing what I'm doing I'm trying to get the mirror to work out for me but I can't, you know, I can't really make miracles. Can't do miracles, so. And I'm gonna put a little bit like right here. And like I said, I'm focusing it in this area. Just kind of blending it into that brown that I just did. But really not going over. I'm gonna stay like right under here. So I'm not gonna go past that. I kind of have an idea what I want to do, but at the same time, I don't. So. Just, you know, nobody's shocked I went into purple first. Who shocked? I know I'm not. <laughs> that's what I'm sure. Okay, so that's looking actually, I'm liking how that's looking. So let's just do the same thing on the other side. keep that brown where that brown is. I don't want to completely cover up the brown because I like a brown color. Okay. Let's go in again. So the Femme Couture products are, uh, I'm pretty sure they're uh, not being sold at Sally's anymore. Um, you can find a couple of their products online, but I'm pretty sure Femme Couture isn't really making new products anymore just because I find their products on eBay a lot. Um, that's where, you know, if I'm looking for prices or I'm doing a video, that's where I find their products, which gives me the idea that maybe um, they're not um, they're not making new products just because I haven't, you know, seen anything or heard anything. So I'm just assuming that they're not making new products, but don't quote me. They might be, in, and I just don't know. Okay, I'm gonna go into this like more foresty green, and I'm just gonna add a little bit more in this area, and then I'm gonna go into the other palette. So I'm just gonna do the same thing starting there and kind of just. I'm being lighter with the green because the green doesn't have to like it doesn't have to like be super pigmented because I just wanted like a nice wash of
just putting it right beside the purple but I think I might put something else on top of that so it, like I said it doesn't have to be super pigmented into that purple so we're gonna do the same thing this side Shadows are pretty good for um for like a couple dollars. Um, I think this palette was five bucks. I think it used to be a little more than that, but I got it on sale. So um, I will say this. Um, I don't know if I would say that they pop really great on my skin tone. I think that it would pop much better on lighter skin tone you know this could go ashy um but we'll see how the look ends up looking before i say anything about it possibly being ashy so i think i'm gonna be done with this palette and go into the mod metal eyeshadow palette okay so i've used the mod metal eyeshadow palette this palette is oh my goodness it's um it's really really um, pigmented but it's really really soft and if I take my finger and just pat it it's everywhere so I decided that I am going to use a fluffy brush today and I'm just gonna use this Luxie 250 large eye blending brush and I'm going to spray this with the Femme Couture Get Locked setting spray just to wet it a little bit. And then instead of using my finger or wetting a flat brush, I'm gonna go into this like bronzy, orangey bronzy color, lightly into it and see how much comes out. Wow. And I'm really gonna try to tap that sucker off and then I'm going to try to gently apply it to my So I'm like pushing it in before I uh, try to blend anything out. I'm just gonna push it in and then I will try to blend when I'm done pushing it in. So I'm just gonna go one more. Push that color in. Okay, so I'm definitely not having as much fallout when I do it that way. Because even on a flat brush, I'll wet it and it still is. Yikes. But this is helping. So I'm going to do the same thing. And notice that I'm just like, when I'm going into the palette, I'm not like going like this. I'm just gently tapping like across so that I can get product, but I'm not just making the colors go into each other because the way they did this palette, it's really easy for uh, the colors to blend in together and ruin the color in it. So, uh, or ruin the color below it is what I'm trying to say, y'all. I'm sorry. My brain feels like it's it's like not working. It's like not working today for some reason. Um, I'm just slightly wiping this off before I put it back. And I, I'm gonna wash my brushes today, even though I, I did I just washed them not too long ago. But 
it's good to just wash them after you're done with them. Um, okay, and then I'm going to go back into the Femme Couture Downtown Brown. And I'm just going to use a fluffy brush that I was using before. I'm going to go use this wet wild brush. And we're just going to go ahead and get into this. Wipe away that purple and that green, little green that I had. So I have to make sure I'm being very careful as I'm trying to do So I'm not loving this. These aren't blending really well, actually. You know, sometimes I can have like a favorite product and then use it, and then it just doesn't work for me, and I'm just like, yikes. I loved you. I supported you. I was, I was here for you, you know, but whatever. All right, so honestly, I'm just gonna be done with that and we'll see how it pictures um, it might picture better and we're just going to go into some liner i'm going to use the femme couture ultra smooth gel liner this is the black and i'm just going to take a pointy brush and i'm just going to go in to the liner and i'm going to do my under liner first This is actually a really great liner. I really like it. It's really soft and gorgeous, honestly. And just, I just need any brush. Just something small. And I'm just gonna use this same light mob brush to kind of And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. We're going to see how much I can get out without going back in. I feel like I can get a good bit. Just going in one. Do need to go back in? This glides over any um, eyeshadow that I've ever used so easily, and it doesn't remove the shadow. Like, this is a really, like, I gotta give them couture their props, because this is dope. It really, like, I did not like gel liner. 
before. I, oh, I didn't get gel liners. I that didn't like it. I just didn't understand it until um, I finally tried it because Bane was like, use gel liner because it stays real in like looks really, really good. And I was like, you know, I'm a liquid eyeliner boy. I don't need to try gel. And now I do love gel liners. I still use like liquid in my pencils more, but if I want something that's going to stay and stick, I'll definitely grab um, some gel liner, like, for realsies, for realsies. And this is just, like I said, this is a great liner. I know I sound like I'm, like, trying to sell it to you. Isn't that what I'm trying to do? No, I just, I just like to let people know when there's something I really like. So, this is another Femme Couture black liner, but this has shimmer in it. And so, what I want to do is I want to just go into this liner a little bit. I'm just going to take this brush and I'm just going to lightly, or like not lightly, I'm kind of going in there. I'm going to go in there and I am going to apply this on the edge where I put that brown because I do just want to keep it in up just a little bit. Still want to keep a little bit of that purple going. So I'm mainly just putting it inside here. I'm gonna put a little bit over here. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Where it's gonna die me and I wouldn't even know. Just plug that all in. Okay. And it's better. Okay, let's move on. So we can get this. Let's get her done. Let's get her done. I'm gonna wash that. So I'm just gonna put right there. Away. Got some amusing. Okay, so finishing with eyes. Femme Couture Monster Lash XSL Mascara Primer and the Femme Couture Fake Lash and some volume. These are two of my favorite um, eye products ever. This is a great primer. This is the first primer I ever um, tried and I am a fan. I am sold. I am sold. Um, I am going to, because I just got, I got this not too long ago at Ross and I want to use it finally. I got this eye curler, eyelash curler, so <laughs> I want to use this curler before I put anything on. So let's do it. This brand is uh, Beauty Something Pro. I can't see. I'll tell y'all once I put some glasses on again because I'm blind as a bat. I don't know why I thought. I will be able to see that. I'm just curling the lashes. And then let's go right ahead in with my Monster Lash XXL. I'm almost out. I need to get more. I gotta get some from eBay. I gotta get some from eBay. Maybe I can find some on Poshmark too. Because I know I've seen a couple. I do have another primer from L'Oreal, but it's not in this. I love this. I'm obsessed with this. I really love the Femme Couture Monster Lash um, primer. It is so good. And 
honestly compared with the Femme Couture, uh, with the Femme Couture uh, fake lash, the match made in heaven. Match made in heaven. All right. We're getting down. I right, just put on some highlights and blush. Fake Lash is one of my favorite mascaras. I'm, I didn't have a big mascara like collection and I don't have a huge one, but um, it's bigger than it was a couple months ago. So. blessed in the lash department but I can get like really nice long lashes without um, without like really messing my shit up so I'm just gonna use I'm just gonna pick a random blush just to get a wash of something it's the color workshop blush um, this is old but I love the deeper color in here so pretty pigmented so this might be more blush than I actually like want it to do like I love a heavy blush but a lot of the time I do set out not to do like a heavy blush I'm like okay I'm just gonna put a wash of color on my cheeks and then the next thing you know I look like I jumped out of an 80s like um music video which love it but still yeah a bit much but you know what I like blush so fuck it I like it once right so I want to wear a bunch of blush I wear the rest of the blush and that is the tea on that yeah that's a lot of blush then but what else is new Get Radiant Complexion complexion Enhancer. This is something that you can use like um, underneath your foundation. You can mix it in your foundation or you can just use it on bare skin. I'm going to use this on bare skin and I am just going to use this as my highlight. Ooh. I'm just going to use this as my highlight. So these Femme Couture liquids like don't be... This might be too much. Oh, dang. 
but that, that's that's yeah. not bad. Not bad at that actually. Kind of shiny and shiny. Definitely my type of thing. But I am going to spray this a little bit because I feel like this side is a little bit. All right, we're down to the wire. We're at the last thing. Okay, so lips. So, um, I have a lot of options for lips. I have a lot of Femme Couture products for lips. I have a bunch more Femme Couture lip stuff that I decided to just leave it where it was because I have so much. Um, I have some lipsticks, lip gloss, and a Mod Metal Lip Paint. So, with this look, I think with this look, I'm actually going to do something, something. I'm going to go in with the Plum Fairy. This is the Femme Couture Primer Lip Cream. This is one of my favorite shades. I'm going to go in with the Plum Fairy lightly. First, just lightly. And then, I'm going to do a mixture today. Then I'm going to go in with the... Uh, uh, mod metal lip paint. lip paint this is the shade celestial i really like this mod metal lip paint and i'm just gonna go on top the look. Let me just put away the rest of this stuff that I'm not using. My lips look really good. I'm not really loving the eye look I did today. Um, the shadows just didn't meld the way I wanted them to. and didn't blend out the way I wanted them to. But I do like the rest of the face. It's really just the eyes I'm not really like loving loving. But I also don't think the look looks bad. I once again want to take a picture to see how it pictures. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a picture right now while I'm still on camera to see if it pictures better. Cause sometimes the look will just picture better um, and look better on a picture. And I don't like manipulate my photos either. So I don't use Facetune or anything, never will. Um, but so let's do like to the side and then let's do one. the eye look pictures mm, let's see the eye look does not picture bad which is good I'm gonna take better pictures but the eye look does not picture bad it actually pictures really well oh my god this blush and this highlight is I'm a fan I'm a fan of this blush highlight all right y'all that was it. That was my one brand tutorial demo of Femme, for Femme Couture. I wish I'd let y'all know where you can find. Oh, wait. Sorry. Just, just a light wash right there. Just to say, I really used it. And this is the uh, Get Locked Makeup Setting Spray. It's a nice makeup setting spray. Um, but yeah, that was my uh, one brand tutorial for Femme Couture. This will be up when it's up. And thank you so much for watching the support. And no have fantastic fantastic day and remember to stay gay